Hi, Heartland. It's Trav and Ruth again. We are here to give you a devotion time and a song. And we were thinking about all of you cooped up in your houses and just sick of it and ready to be done, ready to go back to normal. But uh, we don't know what normal is going to look like. So we're uh, a little bit concerned about that, too. But we were looking to the scriptures and looking at uh, the book of Habakkuk. Uh, the three little chapters in Habakkuk uh, give a really clear message to us. And I think it's timely for where we're at. Um, Habakkuk was asking some very difficult questions of God in the midst of his city uh, that was just evil and evil was rampant. And uh, he was wondering why God wasn't doing anything about it. He seemed to be inactive. And uh, he, he's asking these questions and God comes to him and gives him an answer. He says, lift your head and look to the nations and see what I'm doing and be amazed. And he says, I'm bringing the Chaldeans down from the north and they're going to take over your country. Um, so God's answer was a terrifying answer. And this only led to more questions Habakkuk had. And we see in chapter two, uh, he is, he's pondering at the end of chapter one, the eternality of God and the holiness of God. And how, how does this make sense in light of God's character? He, he postures himself in such a way with God that he understands that he doesn't have the answers, but God does. And he trusts that God does. And so this is his posture. And I thought I would read that to you today. He says, I will stand on my guard post and station myself on the rampart. I will keep watch to see what he will speak to me and how I may reply when I am reproved. So he knows that God will supply him an answer, but he, he's waiting and, and not assuming that he knows the answers. And uh, in that waiting, God does come and gives him a, a very deep answer. It's actually the, the central scripture to chapter two and really the whole book. It's, he says, my righteous ones will live by faith. Um, there's a call to faith in the midst of this. And then he goes on to give a very eternal perspective to Habakkuk. He says, woe to the Chaldeans. And he basically explains how nobody gets away with anything. And he looks out into eternity and gives him a, an answer that is, is deeply satisfying to Habakkuk's soul. Uh, so much so that we see him spring forth in worship to him. And I, we want to do that with you today. And we, we hope that you will grab a hold of what we've been talking about, that trusting God is that vigorous act of the soul. And um, let's worship him. Oh soul, my soul, are you weary and troubled? No night so dark that our eyes cannot see There's light so bright As we look to our Savior Life more abundant and free Life more abundant and free Turn your eyes upon Jesus Full in 
You know, if you go to chapter 3 in Habakkuk, he says this. In light of this trust in God, he says, Lord, I have heard the report about you and I fear. O Lord, revive your work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make it known. In wrath, remember mercy. And then he writes this beautiful song about no matter what happens, no matter how bad it gets, we will worship you. I pray that's our prayer, uh, even this week as we as we look ahead to the future. We love you. We miss you guys. See you soon.